So for us with Keikoa, the first symptom that we always notice is the boils. Wait, don't go too far. Hey guys, how's it going? So welcome back to our channel. Um, I've had a few people, a few people ask me what a staph infection is, and so we decided that's what we're gonna we're gonna do today. Is we're gonna tell you guys what staph infection is. We're gonna show you what his infection looks like, and yeah, so let's go. with Keikoa, the first symptom that we always notice is the boils. And then we start to see the oozing, kind of like a, if you've ever seen acne like a whitehead, then that's the, always the second, um, the second symptom for him. Um, he then always starts to complain about pain. And then after that, we typically try to take him to the doctor. Last year when Keikoa got sick, he had a form of staph infection, which was staph type A. And this had entered the bloodstream through his hand, um, in which started to attack his vital organs. So when we got to the hospital, his kidneys started to shut down, which is why we are so um, cautious about any type of staph infection, because for some reason his um, response doesn't completely fight it off. And a lot of people, once they let it go too long, um, can have some type of blood infection, but the hardest thing with him is because he does have eczema and his skin is so open, it's hard to tell what is a normal infection and what is a severe hospital infection. So um, as of lately, we've just been taking him in anytime we notice any type of infection. When it comes to staph infections, you need to be really careful. And if you think that you may have one, I'm not a doctor, but I highly recommend you getting it looked at um, because they can go south really quickly as we've learned with Keikoa that you have to be really careful and really pay attention when you start to get types of infections like that. I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys understand a little bit more about what we're dealing with. And I'm gonna show you guys some pictures of some open staph infections that we've had here um, either Keikoa or me, I'm a MRSA carrier, so I tend to get staph infections as well. Um, if you haven't yet, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will catch you guys later. Bye!